If there's one thing that we can learn from Joker 2, it's that amazing aesthetics, good acting, and a decent soundtrack don't matter in the slightest if the writing sucks epic donkey balls. This is worthless. It's less than worthless, my boy. Greetings, fellow mortals. Just a reminder, saying it's just my opinion is for cowards. Joker 2 ends with Arthur getting gang and murdered in prison. Don't care, no spoilers, don't go see this, do not support it. I am not exaggerating when I say that this is the worst thing in entertainment that I have seen in the year of our Lord 2024. Borderlands was hilariously bad, Rings of Power was boring bad, and Acolyte was just crazy bad where I have no idea where they were going or what they were thinking whatsoever. But you know what, as a guy that hates Star Wars, I can now understand where Star Wars fans are coming from, because Joker 2 just made me angry. The Joker movie was one of my favorite films of the 2010s. I adored the movie, even though it made me really, really sad, mostly with the message in the movie itself and the terrible interpretations from everyone who didn't understand what was going on. You can ask my wife, I was in a downward spiral for about a week after Joker came out just because everyone was so flabbergasted about the ideas of helping the mentally ill, the poor, and in general, just being kind to each other. And thank God that the version of me from five years ago didn't know about the sequel because he would have just lost it at the idea that even the director didn't get the message. I... And make no mistake, Joker 2, and no, I'm not going to say the full title because it's French and I'm not even going to try, is Todd Phillips' way of trying to do damage control over the last one. There were so many uncharitable interpretations of the Joker. If you remember, they were expecting a mass shooting because of the film. They were trying to wish it into existence. One set of crazies thought that the Joker movie was an incel power movie. And then the other side of crazies thought, hey, we should try to be like Arthur. No, Arthur was a very tragic, disturbed figure who needed help and couldn't get it from anyone because no one wanted to treat him with basic human decency. There are about 500 different instances in the Joker alone where someone could have stopped Arthur by just treating him like an actual human being. But nope, everyone was cruel to him, he spiraled, and he planned to go onto the late night talk show to shoot himself, not the hosts. This isn't to excuse what he did, it was awful, but if there was a definition for not guilty due to insanity, it would be this case. Which is why a court case sequel featuring Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn makes perfect sense. They just messed it up. And no, it had nothing to do with Lady Gaga. I actually thought that she did a great job matching Joaquin Phoenix. Both of the two leads were fantastic. They weren't the problem. Todd Phillips was the problem. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, hate. Double hate. Loathe entirely. Joker was not a film which needed a sequel, especially one that claimed to be a musical, but I had a lot of faith after the first one, so I was going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Plus, it had Lady Gaga involved, so the music wasn't going to completely suck. The biggest problem with Joker 2 is that it is the worst possible type of sequel that you can imagine. What a perfect sequel does is it takes the original and expands on it. It does not rehash the character development from before, instead it takes it to its next logical step. Joker 2 does not continue where the original ended, instead it has to spend the first half of the film rehashing the predecessor so that you understand what Todd Phillips wants you to understand, his new interpretation of everything that happened. In that sense, Joker 2 is basically a remake of the original Joker with a new ending and a new message of sometimes there's just trash people out there that needs to be thrown away. In fact, there's a hell of a lot of them and we should do that and not care about the terrible things that happened to humanity. 
Yay. I'm serious. The whole movie is basically Arthur is sad at the start. Harley Quinn boosts him up. He pretends to be the Joker. He realizes, oh wait, I'm not the Joker. I'm just Arthur. There is no alternate persona. It's just me. And then everyone abandons him. And then the terrible ending happens. And this is Todd Phillips just looking at Hollywood and be like, I'm sorry I made a film you didn't like. I don't, I don't like that all those annoying people online liked it. So here's me just taking a big old dump on it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And guess what? You are in fact a sorry sack of Is this some kind of joke? <laughs> yes. You go to hell, you go to hell and you die. I don't normally get angry at fiction because you know what? It's not real. I prefer to save my outrage for actual human suffering, but this is an exception. If this is a sequel not being able to live up to the original, that's disappointing, but okay. If this is Todd Phillips changing his mind about the ideas he had five years ago, that would be fine too. I would think that he would be stupid, but also it's allowed, but I don't think he actually did change his mind. I think that he changed the movie so that he could get more work after this. How many movies did he work on after the original Joker? One, and it was Joker 2? Hmm, it really makes you think. It could have been COVID, but also it could have been people not willing to work with him because they didn't like what the Joker had to say. Or at least what they think the message was, those deluded assholes. I get it, you have to work, you have to get money to eat. But also, it's very lame for you to take the one film that seemed to have any real meaning around that time period and just throw it away. All because annoying people online liked your film. Well, guess what? I would actually like to have good entertainment and have annoying people in the fandom. Because guess what? Every single fandom has annoying people in it that you just want to kick across the mouth. Larry, what the hell is you oh, Larry! Larry, you can't just... Oh, Larry! Oh. And the sad thing about this is that Todd Phillips could have just made a perfect sequel and redeemed himself through that because guess what? Lady Gaga is involved. She's a feminist icon. She would have helped lower the hatred against you. Here's all you need to do. The setup is basically the same. Arthur is locked up after what happened. Lady Gaga, as Harley Quinn, shows up to try to support him. Instead of being sad and depressed all the time, he can instead be upbeat and cheerful. He's constantly telling very morbid and terrible jokes and laughing at them. Something like, what do you call a baby with no arms and no legs? A botched abortion. It's awful, you don't laugh at it, but he would just die. And before I get a comment on it, no, I did not make the joke up. It's the worst joke I've ever heard. I was just using it as an example. Throughout the film, Harley tries to defend Arthur and build a relationship with him. She has seen what he has been through and what he has become. She has become infatuated with the idea of him and of fixing him. But despite everything Harley does, Arthur just isn't interested in her. One, because he doesn't care about anyone or anything anymore. He just wants to watch the world burn. And two, he kind of thinks that he just made up this woman in his head, just like in the first film. And this could be further emphasized by the musical aspect of the film, where Arthur starts out just singing to himself and everyone looks at him weird. But as time goes on, the world morphs around him in order to fit his narrative. In fact, Harley gets in on the songs, fitting their character dynamic and their development. Because Joker 2 really isn't a musical as it is now. They just start randomly singing about things and then randomly stop. And there's no reason for the songs. It doesn't push the narrative along. It's not a real musical. I feel very disappointed about it. It's Lady Gaga. I thought they would go all out. But instead they just tickled my and just be like, ha ha ha, tricked you. I don't know why you tried to trick me with that one, but okay. I actually like musicals. I would have been interested to see what it would have been like if you just didn't half-ass it all. Wow, you suck. The entire court case is centered around the idea that Arthur is too crazy to be found guilty. And there's 
two very, very loud groups of people complaining on both sides of the argument. Huh, that sounds very familiar. Harley constantly sticks up for Arthur, saying that he needs kindness, that he needs basic human decency. But everyone around her from all sides just scream at her, and she slowly starts to lose it herself as she sees the absolute despair of people not caring about each other. Throughout everything, the court case, the protests, his interactions with Harley, Arthur just keeps bursting out laughing, and whenever asked him what's funny, he just says, ah, you wouldn't get it. At the end of the court case, it's decided that Arthur is not guilty due to insanity, causing a giant uproar across the city. Arthur is then dragged out of the courthouse to be taken to Arkham Asylum, but then he is stopped at the steps when the guards see that the entire city is broken out into chaos. To everyone's surprise, Harley runs up with a gun, shoots the guards dead, steals the keys, and unlocks Arthur. Instead of running off, they both sit down on the steps and share a cigarette as they watch people fight and as the city burns once again. To Arthur's shock, Harley bursts out into laughter. When asked, she says, I finally get it now. The reason it's funny is because, and then Arthur places a finger on his lips and says, shh, if you explain it, the joke isn't funny anymore. And then the film ends with Arthur wrapping an arm around Harley's shoulder, pulling her close, and both of them laughing as the world burns around them. There can even be one final musical number in their heads as they're consumed by smoke and flames. There can even be an angry mob approaching them, screaming about how terrible they are, and how that they should both burn, and that the world would be better off without the Joker. There are plenty of great ideas that could be used to make a perfect sequel to The Joker, but Todd Phillips just decided they wanted to go around apologizing for what he made before. I'm sorry. I know you don't like it. I know it's too real for you. Here's something a lot dumber. Joker 2 just plain sucked. It is my least favorite thing in the year of our lord 2024 because at least all of the other things that sucked didn't have the original creators come out and just take a big old dump on what came before it really pisses me off the people who hated the joker didn't want this the people that loved the joker didn't want this the people who didn't even see the joker didn't want this nobody wanted this it is awful no one's happy the only possible joy you can take from this is the fact that the people you might not like will hate it and guess what that's not the right way to enjoy any story from this point forward i'm going to ignore the fact that joker 2 even exists it is a terrible fan fiction film, and it's one of the few things I wish was thrown into a pit and set ablaze. From now on, only the Joker exists, nothing else. But what do you think? Did you enjoy the film? Did you hate it like me? Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And remember, if you disagree with everything I have to say, that is perfectly fine. After all, everyone is entitled to their objectively wrong opinion. Thank you all so much for watching. You're still here? Good night, everybody! Thank you, f you, bye, boom! Do not despair.